From ancient Greece to the founding of America and beyond, every democracy rests on the principle of give and take, says University of Southern California neuroscientist Jonas Kaplan. That conversation can change minds and that if we discuss issues with each other, we can learn from each other and actually adjust our beliefs. Back up, sir. But on contentious issues such as gay marriage or gun control, conversations only rarely change beliefs. Kaplan wanted to know what's going on in our brains that makes changing our minds so hard. So his team studied people using a brain scanner. You press the button as soon as you read each statement. And on a screen, we showed them first a statement that we knew they believed in, and then after that, we showed them a series of five statements that challenged those beliefs. Kaplan's team then tested whether people had changed their minds. They found differences between the brains of people who did and those who didn't in regions that deal with emotions. What we found is that the people who activated these emotional brain regions more were less likely to change their minds. The most stubborn people had the most activity in the amygdala, which responds to fear and threats and other strong emotions, and in the insular cortex, which inputs feelings from our bodies into decision making. So this right here in blue... These systems the evolved to protect us, Kaplan says. The insular cortex supports feelings of disgust that we might encounter when we see rancid food, for example. And now we're seeing those systems kind of repurposed to help protect us against new kinds of threats, threats that are more abstract. In this case, it's information that, that the brain thinks might be harmful to us. Kaplan says for many people, political beliefs are an important part of who they are and who they call their friends and allies. And that raises the stakes for changing one's mind. So to change a particular belief about politics might involve not just changing your belief, but it might involve affecting your relationships with other people. What are people going to think of me now? Emotions do play a role in judgment when we learn new information. But Kaplan adds they can also get in the way of making good decisions. Just being mindful of how we feel and how those feelings are influencing how we're responding to that information might help. In today's hyper-partisan environment, that may be harder and more important than usual. Steve Barragona, VOA News.